it's Rachel. Today on Crack Your Bible, we are going to be talking about the times that we live in. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe with the bell with the parentheses so you're notified of a new gospel message because, of course, Satan and Google and YouTube and Apple, they don't want you to know the gospel, so just jump through their hoops, hit subscribe with the bell with the parentheses, and let's get started. Now, I'm sure you guys noticed that on Valentine's Day, I did not have a video up, and it's not because I didn't make one. I did make one. I will put a little clip up there, but... To make a video, I have to like edit the video and then you have to process it where you can then upload that file to YouTube. And when I went to go do that, I had to put it through a compressor and I kept getting this notification saying disk image full. So it said clean up unused files and it deleted the file that I was currently using. It was currently open. I don't even know how that's possible. I could not recover it. So I was like, Okay, well, I guess that video's gone, so that's why there was no video on Wednesday. But I wanted to talk about something else. This is not what my video was about on Wednesday. But um, you guys might notice that I have this, like, sticker here. I have, like, a heart monitor on right now. Oh, so <laughs> you guys know that I was in the hospital, so they're still trying to figure out, like, what's wrong with me. But um, so I went to the hospital, and... I'm sitting there while they're doing an ultrasound of my heart. So I like watching my heart beat and I see like the little, the ventricles in my heart moving and stuff like that. And I'm just sitting here like what, what period in time am I living in? This is the craziest stuff. The reason that I wanted to talk about this is because yesterday when I was at the hospital and I saw my heart and everything, I came home, I drove home. And afterwards, I picked up this bottle of foundation that my mother-in-law had brought back for me from Japan. And I was like, I have no idea what this says. So within five minutes, I went on Google Translate and I just held my, my uh, phone up to the bottle of makeup. And even though this is a little janky, it was able to, in real time, translate what was on the box. And it's just like... This is the craziest stuff. Like, yeah, it's not perfect, but this is just, this is mind blowing. And I think that we get so jaded about things that we don't even realize how incredibly blessed and how crazy the times that we live in are because nothing that we do is natural. Nothing that we do is, it, it doesn't even make sense the kind of world that we live in. Talk about this 200 years ago. Oh, I, I drove in a car and I have lights and I'm talking on a cell phone and now you're watching the video of it online and you can watch this video as many times as you want. And What? This is just crazy. And then, I mean, just even little things like, for example, I had to wear a costume so I bought some hair extensions and these are fake. They're just synthetic hair extensions for nine bucks. This is not sponsored from China on Amazon. Got here in like not even two days. And it's just like, just something as simple as being able to clip in more hair takes nothing. Like we have the technology where you don't have to have real hair. Like back in Jesus's day, they would cut hair off slaves. So you could have blonde or red hair. You would import European slaves and cut off their hair and you would make wigs and now nobody has to be harmed and this just clips in and out and there's no lice there's no bugs there's no nobody who's going to have to be bald so that I can have hair it's just crazy and for the record I'm a I'm morally against real human hair extensions because um, what you don't know is that a lot of Indian hair is actually collected at Indian temples so after a woman gives birth or she wants to ask the gods for something or thank the gods for something, they'll shave their head. And then that hair goes to a temple and then the temple goes on and sells it to these hair, hair extension places. So I am morally against purchasing anything that a person has dedicated to a demon. Like they have a financial incentive to keep women in spiritual bondage so that they can make money off of their hair. So that is why I will never buy real human hair extensions, but that's just an aside. That's not the point of this video. And I think so often we get caught up in like, oh, look at all the bad things that are happening around us. Look at all the negativity, like everything's going 
just going to hell in a handbasket. So we can always like look at the negative stuff, but do we ever just step back and say, wow, God, thank you for allowing me to live in a time like the one that I'm in right now, because I've never had to start a fire. I've never had to kill an animal for food. I've never had to go get water out of a river. I've never had to hand wash clothes in a lake. You know, I've never been out in the cold where it's like, oh, if I don't find firewood or something like that, then I'm going to freeze to death this winter. Or, you know, if I can my food wrong and everything spoils, then I'm going to starve to death this winter. I've never had to experience any of that. And I'm pretty sure most people watching this channel have not either. And I just sit back and I think, wow, like when the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse four talked about how like in the, in the end days, there would be an increase in knowledge. Wow. They weren't joking. And I think that sometimes we need to just step back and say like, wow, God, thank you so much for allowing me to live in a time period like the one that I live in right now, where I don't have all of the other survival worries that people a hundred years ago had. I mean, when my grandpa was born and he's still alive and he's a young grandfather because my grandma was like 42 or 43 when I was born and he's like three, three years older than her. So they, they were not even 50. They're like in their mid forties when I was born. So, um, yeah, when my grandpa, when he was born, he was born in a house that did not have a bathroom. They had an outhouse. And now in 2018, I'm sitting in a hospital getting an ultrasound and it takes 20 minutes and they can see inside my heart. They can see all the, the issues without even cutting me open. I don't have to take a pill. It's just like, boop, put some gel on you. Like you're having an ultrasound for a baby. Let's look at this and then you're done. I mean, I have this machine on me right now and it can monitor my heart with just a sticker and like a little electrode. It doesn't hurt. It's just, it just feels like I have like this weird pager thing on me, but it's just like, wow, I live in such an incredible time in history and God has blessed me that way. I, I don't have to die of all these childhood diseases. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, marauders coming into my village. I don't have to worry about any of these things that people throughout human history have had to worry about. In my, just in my grandfather's lifetime, people were still using swords on cavalries, like people riding on horses. That, the last battle on horseback with swords was in 1945. This is, this is just insane. In his lifetime, we go from outhouses and horseback and swords, which people have done since, you know, basically Adam and Eve up until now to now we have uh, supersonic weapons. You can see inside my heart. I can literally just jump into my car, hit my garage door opener. It magically shuts the door for me. I drive down to the hospital. I get out. I'm completely clean. It takes like not even 20 minutes. I can listen to the radio, and if I want to talk to the person who's talking on the radio, I can go on Twitter from my phone. I don't even have to be connected to a, a laptop, no cords, nothing. It's like, what pl what planet am I living on? I remember the first time that I came to Las Vegas, it was 2006. I was on spring break with my parents. I was a, a senior in high school, so I was almost, yeah, I was 18. And I was just shocked. I was amazed. I was like, oh my gosh, this place is crazy. And this was just driving down the street. And I think so often we get caught up in just the minutia of every day. And we don't step back and say, wow, God, thank you for allowing me to live in the time that I live in. Because I get to experience things that people wouldn't even dream of. I mean, I remember when I was in high school and I graduated in 2006, so this was not very long ago. I remember before there was even an iPhone and my teacher for my audio visual class was talking about how one day we would be able to talk on our iPods. And I was like, that's crazy. And now that, nobody even thinks of this. It's just like, 
We are so lucky to experience these things, but we're so jaded and we're so caught up with our own drama and looking at all the negative things going on that we don't even realize like how God has blessed us where, you know, for $39, I can hop on an airplane and just fly to a different place in the span of an hour, even though some of these journeys would take months if you went on horseback or by covered wagon. My great, gra my great, great grandma, uh, who was alive when I was born, she, she died when she was almost 101 and I was like two and a half. She came to Oklahoma in a covered wagon. I moved to California and Nevada in a vehicle and I've been on planes, I've been out of the country and it's just like, just the leap in technology is so great. And do we ever stop and say, thank you, God, for allowing me to experience these things where I don't have to deal with all of just the hard work that just went into existing, not even 100 years prior to my lifetime. And I know that it can be scary because we see the signs and the symbols and we're like, oh yeah, we're gearing up for the last days or we're at like, the, the very, very beginning of it. But at the same time, like, don't forget, God has really blessed you. No matter how bad your life is, you live better than pretty much every ancient king ever. And I think we need to be thankful for that. You as a middle class or a lower middle class person live better than most kings did. And, you know, thank God that he has put us down in this time period where we can experience these things, where we can fellowship with each other. I don't even know where you're from. If you want to put down in the comments where you're watching this from, great. But remember, this was never possible even 15, 20 years ago. YouTube is not even 20 years old. So uh, yeah, just remember that and thank God for allowing you to live in a time period that people in the Bible were looking forward to. People were looking forward to the days when Jesus was going to return. And it seems very likely that we are in that time period. So um, just be thankful for the good things that God has given you and blessed you with. And remember, don't overlook these things. Yeah, there's bad things that go on, but look at all the good things God has blessed you with. So that's all that I wanted to share with you. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you on Monday. Bye.